9 Signs Your Partner Is The Right One For You Are you looking for Mr. or Mrs. Right? Someone who belongs to you in each step of your life. How can you tell that your partner is the right one for you? Relationships are something that every human being seeks and keeps working on for their entire life. No matter how sophisticated the technology is, finding the one still seems like a mysterious thing. Fortunately, some proven signs can help you determine if you are with the right one for you. Number one, you can show your true self. A clear sign that you're with the right one for you is that you do not need to fake or pretend that you are something else. You become what you are. You can show your true self without judgment or resentment. You are free to speak your mind, solve problems, and vent your emotions, knowing that they won't judge you less or love you less. It means that they will connect with you by showing love and understanding, even when you are not at your best. They will accept you in the downtime, such as when you are sick or in a bad mood or shut down after going through a difficult time. The right person will make you the most confident version of yourself. They will put you at ease, compliment you, and let you know how great you are. A good partner wants you to be happy and make you never doubt yourself. Number 2. Your partner listens to you. When all we got are two ears and one mouth, it has a bustle meaning that we need to listen more than argue or talk. The art of communication is when you or your partner can listen to each other. Not just listening with both ears, instead listening or hearing beneath the surface. Your partner is the right one for you if they can understand and listen to your message using their heart. How they treat you when there is a conflict or argument is crucial. When you and your partner are good match, you will find that you can manage the conflict. You can express your concerns, listen, and find solutions. And more importantly, you are always on the other side with new boundaries and a better understanding of each other. Now that is the state of the art of listening. Number three, both of you share similar values. If you want to have a long-term relationship with someone, you make sure that you have similar purpose and core values. However, it does not need to be the exact same interest. In fact, sometimes it helps to have completely different hobbies or interests. The most important thing is that you and your partner belong to the same team. You need to be on the same page. It can show how you feel about your children, where you want to live, or how you live your life. Anything important to you should also become their top priority. You and your partner need to know where your boat or vehicles will go. If you can compromise and decide together, you and your partner can have similar values to preserve. No matter what the obstacle in the future is, you and your partner can press. Number 4. You and your partner realize that you are in the same team despite the argument. Arguments in a relationship are not necessarily a bad thing. Depending on how you handle it, they are critical to the durability of a partnership. Relationship tends to break down when partners see each other as enemies in a fight, instead of trying to figure out a way to stay on the same team, so to speak. Even if you are both super mad or the conflict is quite severe, when you and your partner are a good match, you will search for conflict solutions. Both of you can express your concerns, listen and find the best way out. With the right partner, you should be able to express dissenting or different opinions without causing the relationship to break down or fall apart. It shows that you celebrate each other as individuals. Arguing is a good habit to discuss life challenges and possible situations. You and your partner are two different humans with uh, their own needs, their own hopes, and even their own thoughts. Conflict is a healthy way to become a better couple if you can manage it well. The right person will spend their thoughts finding what is the best for the relationship. Number 5. Enough room to be apart sometimes. Being with the right one is great, but you do not need to keep together all day long 24-7. Remember that you and your partner are still human beings. You need to balance your life. Taking time away from your partner and allowing you to become alone in your own life is great for building healthy relationships. Sometimes being able to be separated from your partner for an extended period of time is a very good sign that you are in the right relationship. Staying away from your partner's hobbies and social gatherings builds self-esteem outside of our relationship, which is healthy for everyone involved. This shows that you have great trust and respect for each other. For whatever reason, you and your loved one need to be apart for a while, whether it's hours or months. 
If you are separated, then you should not torture yourself or not enjoy yourself. In fact, if a part of you still appreciates the alone time, then it's a good sign. Even better, with the technology today, it will not be a problem to keep in contact even when you are apart. Number six, both of you understand the love language. While love language seems to be a self-help trend, the notion that different people give and receive love in their unique ways makes a lot of sense. If you, or in case if you, have not known it yet, there are popular love language categorizations. There are words of affirmation, the act of service, quality time, physical touch, and receiving gifts. Although the love language between you and your partner is different, it is important to understand what makes you feel loved and what makes your partner feel loved. If you love getting gifts and your partner brings something home after a bad day, it's a good sign that he's got you. Trying to understand the love language is a sign of the willingness to cooperate and build a stronger relationship. This means that you want to understand your partner and so do they. Number seven, your partner wants to spend time with you. Spending time together is one of the best parts of a relationship. When your partner is in love with you, your partner will stop at nothing to spend time with you. They want their weekend to be about you and they'll look for new opportunities to meet you, hang out with you and be with you. They'll text you or call you even when they're away so that you can stay connected even when you're apart. You and your partner might be in different areas or even different countries, but as long as there is enough will to spend time with each other, you might have met with a right one for you. While you're both busy at work, family and other commitments, someone who truly cares about you will use the rest of their time to spend some time alone. No matter the medium, connecting with you is their top priority. This means that you won't be secondary in their life. Number eight, your friends and family realize it. Getting an outside perspective can come in handy, especially when you're in doubt. And there are no other more reliable sources to get those opinions rather than your closet circles. You can ask and see how your families or friends can get along with your partner. It sounds obvious, but it is usually a good sign when your closest circles can get along with a person that you are dating. People around you will judge your character as good or bad and may know that you are better than yourself. It's normal for them to be protective and suspicious of someone that you are dating. If your close friends and family are supportive and happy for you, you may be with the right person. So, how did your date get along with your family and friends? Number nine, they trust you. Without trust, there will be no loving, happy, and long-lasting relationship. Trust is an unmistakable sign of whether someone is right for you. When your significant other trusts you wholeheartedly and feels that they can count on you for support, for guidance and encouragement, it develops into deep love over time. Just keep in mind that trust is expanding over time. That is why you need to build it using the prior aspect of whether they are the right one. Start to listen more, be communicative and be open with each other. Relationships are something that everyone struggles with throughout their lives. No matter how sophisticated the technology, finding the one still seems to be a mystery. Some proven science can help you decide if you are with the right person. Do you become yourself while you are with them? Does your partner listen and share similar core values? How does your partner handle conflict? And what about your friends and family suggestions about your partner? These are the signs that are easy to learn, but sometimes can be missed easily. Watch all these signs carefully. Who knows, you might find the right one for you. I hope that you'll find this video to your valuable advantage and it might help you in different ways. If you found this video informative, do like and subscribe. And don't forget to give comments and provide us with your valuable feedback. Plus, do you want to suggest us a topic for the next video? Feel free to tell us. See you in the next video. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.